Hi everybody, Megan here from Made by Megan. Thank you for joining me uh, for my first ever video. Uh, what I've got to show you today is the project I uh, taught for uh, our local Waikato Extravaganza. Um, the name escapes me right now. I did case this design and I will uh, publish the demonstrator's name with my blog post. It'll go up on my uh, website, madebymegan.blog, um, so head on over to see those details. Um, so this is it. It's called a pop-up card. So there you go. It's got the little box and that's how it stands. And here is the back for writing the message. Uh, this card features the lost it now, here it is, the heartfelt stamp set from our mini catalogue as well as the jewel punch set. So you can buy these in a bundle until, um, when is it, until um, June, a bundle for 10% off. Um, and if you're interested in doing so, just send me a, a message and I can help you place that order. So, let's get started. I have everything prepared here, ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we're going to start by folding the score lines of the card base. Now, I'm going to have all the measurements up on my blog for this, um, so that I don't <laughs> tell you all the wrong uh, measure measurements during this video. So here we go. I'll just define all those score lines. And I will do the same on the panel, what I've called the uh, front panel. There we go. Now I like to um, put the base together before adhering the DSP. So to do that, when you've got the card folded in half, like a standard card base, we've got the, uh, the fold here and the open ends here. This last square is where we're going to put our adhesive. So I like to use a Tombow Wet Glow. You might like to use the tear and tape, oh, that's a bit clogged, tear and tape or snail, um, either is fine. When it comes to making 3D uh, projects like this, I, I do personally prefer the wet glow. So now what I'm going to do, and I hope this shows up well, is I'm going to tuck that under, and all I'm going to do is fold on that score line and push it down. So this is going to make sure that the piece that we've adhered is going to uh, be in the right place. Because this card will fold flat to go into a standard envelope. So when you've got the end result, you just push it back up and that is the standard card base side and it will fit in an envelope. Okay, so that's adhered. I now like to go and put on the DSP. So I've got, it's all from the DSP pack um, from my heart specialty paper and it is beautiful. Um, a number of the sheets have this foil in the pattern and that's the Flirty Flamingo colour. And it is just beautiful. So I have actually chosen three coordinating, well, these are the three I've picked out. The whole pack obviously coordinates together because it's made using the same colours. Uh, Real Red, Flirty Flamingo and Whisper White, so it doesn't matter which three uh, you select from the paper pack, DSP pack, uh, they will coordinate. I like to choose contrasting patterns and designs. So here we go. I'll stick these flat with liquid glue. And the thing with Tombow is less is more. So, um, here we go. 
you won't get sticky fingers or you know glue sticking out on your projects if you're using if you're using the right amount which is not much you won't be having it sticky everywhere so there we go um, there we go what I love about a lot of fun fold uh, designs you'll find out there and Pinterest or Google or wherever you like to search is that actually they they are fairly easy to put together it's not often a lot that goes into putting it together but they have a real wow factor once it's done there we go so that's all stuck down what I'm now going to do is attach this front panel so I don't know how clearly that shows, but I've got a re long rectangle here and then two smaller ones up here. I'm going to put adhesive onto the last very small rectangle. And then what I'm going to do is fold it back so that I'm left with the one big rectangle and the two small folded over. And then I am going to line this up. Oopsies. Line this up with the edge of the card at the top. So I'm just eyeballing it side to side, making sure it's even. Rub that down so it adheres and sticks. Okay, and this is the start of our box. How well is that showing? Going everywhere, aren't I? There we go. Okay, now to stick the bottom piece, I am going to have a look. And I can see that I need to put adhesive under this flap. So I'm just going to go like this and put a squiggle on where I can see it's underneath, going to be underneath. And now I'm going to stick that down flat. Okay, and so that's the basic construction of the card. <laughs> what am I doing? There we go. There's the basic construction of the card. Nice and easy, right? So we will now just finish decorating it. So I've got the last of the DSP uh, pieces to put on that panel. And then we'll get into some stamping. So I'm just making, sticking these down and making sure it's got an even border on all four sides. Lovely. Then I've got the same pattern, just a smaller piece to go on the top there. Whoopsies. The thing with the liquid glue it too is that it gives you time to do that wiggling if you've sort of put it down a bit crooked to start with, which I tend to do. So there you go, so there's the card base done. I'm going to pop that inside and what we're going to do next is the uh, stamping for the sentiment here and the stamping on the Whisper White piece on the back. So I have got for the Whisper White on the back, I am going to go, uh, I've got the small heart image that's going to be in a contrasting colour to my card base. So I've got Flirty Flamingo card base, so I'm going to stamp it in real red. And I'm going to just do that in each of the four corners. It's going to create a bit of uh, interest in, with the contrast there. Uh, while I have that out, I want to um, stamp this heart image stamped off and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment over the top so I'm just going to get some scrap paper here we go and here we go so the heart and do you know what yeah I'm going to do the second generation which means I'm going to stamp off twice and then I'm going to stamp that into the middle now I'm stamping that off twice because it's uh, real red and so much darker than the Flirty Flamingo, which I want to put on top. 
so let's just see how that goes. Ooh, it's still really red, but hey, let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Oh no, that hasn't shown up very clearly at all. What I'm going to do real quick is still with the real red, I'm going to ink up. And because this is a photopolymer stamp, I am going to stamp that again in real red and line it up with the stamping I did in Flutie Flamingo. There you go. Now it's dark enough we can actually see it. And I've managed to line that up pretty pretty well. Uh, so this will be stuck flat on the back of our card. Managed to get red on my thumb, of course. So here we go. Stick that down. reverse done now we'll work on the heart for the sentiment so I've got a scrap piece of whisper light here and we're going to use flirty flamingo to stamp the heart that is um, made up of dots the shape of the heart is made up of dots so I'm just going to do that right in the center Lovely, and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment, uh, love you lots, in real red. Now, I've just realised, I've done love you lots on the back, haven't I? This is first video jitters for you. <laughs> so what, instead of, I was planning on doing love you lots on the front, and then from my heart to yours on the reverse, on the back. But do you know what? Because I've put Love You Lots on the back, I am just going to find From My Heart to Yours and put that in the heart for the front instead. The stamp set does come with a number of sentiments, which are super sweet. So not necessarily Valentine's-y uh, sentiments either. And a number of them do fit, do coordinate. Here we go. With the so the suite starts on page what is that page eight? We've got some photos, uh, some creative inspiration here, and then this is the bundle. You can buy oh sorry the suite. You can buy the bundle all together that has the DSP, the ribbons, the doilies, the gems, stamp set, punch, uh, and heart tins. And then on the other page, it shows in more detail the stamp set. So there is a Happy Valentine's stamp here. But you know, the rest of it is um, not Valentine's themed. Uh, necessarily strictly Valentine's. So that's that's why I do love this set. And of course, here's the bundle here. 10% off for the punch and stamp set. Okay, now my piece of paper is a bit small to put into the punch. So I'm going to get a... Um, just a post-it note, stick that on the back, and then what I can do is line it up with my punch when I find that. Here it is. And here's the punches. One is um, straight edge, and one of the punches has a scalloped edge. Oops, scalloped edge, and the straight edge uh, is designed to fit or layer on top of the scalloped edge punch. So let's do that. Alright, just lining up top to bottom. Here we go. Punch. Just peel that off. She says with no nails. <laughs> Here we go, got it. And I want to pop that up onto the doily using uh, dimensionals. So I'm just going to go one, two, and three to make sure it's nice and sturdy. One, two, three. And line that up in the middle. 
Okay, I'm bringing my card base. Um, I want to at now attach the chill ribbon, and that's uh, attached directly to the front panel there. So for this, I am going to pull out my uh, tear and tape. And stick it down with that. So I just need a couple of lengths uh, that will be short enough to be hidden by the uh, the doily piece, but long enough to attach the chill ribbon. So here we go. One, two. Peel the backings off. One and two. Now what I'm going to do is a zigzag with the chill. So going to just stick it off like eh, yay much, bring it off the other end, back on itself, and because it's chill, uh, it will stick to the adhesive, it, you can overlap the um, chill onto itself and it still sticks, beautiful, so a lot of, with a lot of ribbons that are this thickness, you might need to layer a couple of bits of um, tear and tape down to make sure it sticks but the chill is fantastic just a couple of bits and not a problem there we are going to pop the um, doily up with a couple of dimensionals as well so one two three one two three and that just pops it up off the chill ribbon and uh, doesn't squish the ribbon down allows it to show off the, the curves there. One, two, three, grab my scissors. I'm just going to trim the edges, give it a nice angled cut. There and there, whoops. There and there. Okay. So that is looking pretty good, pretty good. We want to put, oh, the gemstones, the faceted gemstones on last. So these are beautiful. Again, in the uh, real red Clutie Flamingo and um, Whisper White colours, and they are just beautiful. I'm going to bring in my pick tool. And I don't know how clearly can you see this. Let's see. It's got they've got a beautiful metallic sheen to them. Let's see, let's see. Can you see that? Beautiful. They just catch the light so nicely. And they are quite um <laughs> 3D. Beautiful. So I'm gonna just use my fine tip glue pen put down a couple of spots of glue below the heart doily and I'm going to go red one a red one and a pink one that's a little bit smaller I just want to flip it over so I can pick it up There's the dog barking at somebody. Right, and the last one I'm going to do is actually up here. And I'll pick another big one for that. So, there we have it. A quick and easy pop-up card to put together. But with major wow factor. It looks so good. Look at that, beautiful. Lovely. So this is the original and this is the one we've made today. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please head on over and check out my blog. That's me, uh, made by Megan.blog. And um, if you'd like to sign up to receive my monthly newsletters please um, contact me through my blog and uh, I'll add you to my newsletter mailing list. Thank you so much for your time. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, bye.